Welcome back Ink Chasers. Today's video is the first of a series that I am basically showing off my collection. So in this first episode I will be showing you my Hall of Fame baseballs. So I'm going to try and keep it so short and sweet. It may get a little lengthy. So let's start off with pitcher, uh, Hall of Fame pitcher uh, Bob Feller. Hall of Fame 1962. I'm going to do my best to keep the glare off of these. I don't really want to take them out of the cases, but this one I received as Father's Day present from my first son back when he was one years old. And this one is on official uh, Major League Baseball. And then I have Catcher Yogi Berra, Hall of Fame, 1972. And this one is in blue. And this one, you can kind of see it. it. Does have the uh, logo from their um, L I think it's LTD Enterprises. Or LTB it came from Yogi themselves. You got that one TTM. Um, I believe it was in 2011. And then we have left fielder Hall of Fame 1973, Monty Irvin. This one too is on an official Major League Baseball. This one was, uh, I believe this was in 2011 as well. And that one was obtained TTM. And then we have pitcher Whitey Ford, Hall of Fame, 1974 inscription. This one is a little light. The um, I think the pen just wasn't quite ready enough whenever it was signed. This one was signed TTM. Also an official Major League ball. And then we have pitcher Robin Roberts, Hall of Fame, 1976. I think I said Whitey Ford was 79, but it's actually 1974. This one was signed in person. Hall of Famer Ernie Banks, 1977. And that one I've got a TriStar certificate on it. Got that one at a TriStar convention in Houston. Then Hall of Fame 1979, center fielder Willie Mays. And that's got his Say Hey sticker on it right there. And then one I showed in my previous video about baseballs. Hall of Famer Bob Gibson. This one was an in person. He's Hall of Fame 1981. And that one was on a official National League ball. Then I have Hall of Fame 1983 Brooks Robinson. 
on official Major League Ball. This one, again, with another TriStar logo or uh, certificate. And this is one of my uh, early mistakes that I have. <laughs> Hall of Famer Lou Brock, Hall of Fame 1985, left fielder. Signed in black pen. As you can see, it's starting to turn colors. And it's on a uh, Rawlings official league ball, not a major league ball or national league, which would have been the ball at the time I would have had. But... This was signed in person back in the uh, mid to early 90s. Just didn't know at that time that I should have had it in blue and on the correct ball. And the late, great Bobby Doerr, Hall of Fame 1986. This one was TTM, and it came out beautiful. Pen was great in blue. We have Hall of Fame 1991, Fergie Jenkins. Got this one in person at a uh, Rangers Fan Fest. And at the same time I got that one, I got this one. Because they were together at, the, at Fergie's little uh, booth. This is Gaylord Perry, Hall of Fame 1991. Both of those are an official Major League Balls. And then the next year, Fergie's guest was Raleigh Fingers. Hall of Fame, 1992. That one there was in person as well. It's a little lighter than I would like, but it's still a nice signature. And blue ballpoint. Then I have Hall of Fame 1996, Jim Bunning. This one was TTM a few years ago, so it is a little little shaky because he was getting older in, in age and he's recently passed away, so glad to have that one. And then I have Hall of Fame manager Earl Weaver. That one's a little tougher to see because it's at the top of the ball and right at the, the line there. Hall of Fame 1996. And then this one I did get TTM as well. Hall of Fame 1997, Phil Necro. I did send him a blue pin and he chose not to use it and sign it in black. But it still looks pretty good, but it's a more recent acquisition. I would say probably uh, 2012, perhaps. And then Hall of Fame 1999, Nolan Ryan. And this one has... Find it. The uh, Nolan Ryan Foundation certificate with it. I did that one TTM through the uh, foundation. And then another TTM, Hall of Fame 2000, Carlton Fisk. And then I got this one in person. Hall of Fame 2001, Bill Mazeroski. And then another great TTM signer, Hall of Fame 2005, Wade Boggs. That one's a little hard to see as well. Hall 
Hall of Fame 2006, Bruce Sutter. And that was in person at another TriStar convention. There's the TriStar logo. And then another TTM Whitey Herzog. He's Hall of Fame 2010. That one, the pin wasn't prepped real well. I don't know if he just didn't use the one I sent or if I didn't prep it well enough, but it's it's really light, especially there at the end. So I may try and resend to him at some point. But I would think I need to do that pretty soon if I am. And then to Hall of Fame 2014 manager, Tony LaRusso. That one was sent TTM. And then Hall of Fame 2016, King Griffey Jr. Now this one's my only PSA DNA certified one. Um, I had received this particular one. This is actually one of my favorites for uh, Christmas back in 1990 held on to this ball for years and loved it and as I got to know more about autographs and um, I started thinking well is it real is it not because it didn't quite look like his signature I mean a lot of it did but a lot of it didn't I questioned it and finally my wife convinced me to go ahead and send this in to be certified so I did and it came back as authentic. And what I have found out since then is it is a early version of his autograph. And it's one of the reasons you don't have the big the junior looking like a big eight as you see now. But that one is Probably one of my favorites because he was my favorite all time growing up. And then my most recent one, I got this one this year at Rangers Fan Fest Hall of Fame 2017, Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez. He wasn't signing Hall of Fame at this event, so he has just the number seven, which I'm still happy with. And that's my Hall of Fame baseball collection. Let me know what you think down below. Should I send the rest of these off to be PSA certified? Or you think, you know, they're just my collection. I should keep them the way they are. Um, like, comment below, subscribe. Thank you for watching.